We are pleased to be joined with Jaguars outside linebacker and my fellow New Jersey native, Josh Allen, following today's Military Appreciation Day and only practice at the stadium. Josh, do you like practicing at the stadium? I know obviously you enjoy the new Miller Electric Center, yeah. but what's it like being out here in front of even more fans? They said 10,000 here today. 10,000, it felt like it. The energy was high as soon as we came out. Um, we had a great, I think it was a, I think we had a great time, but the team today was really focused on 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 accomplishing what we need to accomplish. It felt good to be here, but you know having all these fans out here, we're ready for it to fill up uh, game two of the year, and uh, and we were ready to go then. Another round of one on ones between the offensive and defensive line this yeah. afternoon. Uh, who surprised you? Who stood out? Both the offensive and defensive side. So I just got my one rep in, and then I was out. I had to go to seven on seven. So. I didn't really watch a lot of the one-on-ones today, but, you know, Walker Little has definitely improved so tremendously, and I just love going to work with him, going to battles with him. Uh, Anton is another guy that, you know, we got to get him going. You know what I mean? It's, it's always when Anton's up, let's go work. Let's go work because he's going to obviously see it game one of this year. So we want to help us, help him, and we want to be better as a team. Since you mentioned Anton, you've been through training camp as a rookie, obviously. Yeah. Him, Yasir, these guys yeah. that are going through it for the first time, what's it like for them and how can yeah. you help them along? I mean, uh, like I said, going with Anton is is just giving him my best every play. You know, no no let off, no, you know, take a play off right here. It's, you know, every play, we got to go. We got to work. And with Yasir and all the other rookies, man, Yasir has, has looked really well. Um, I'm excited to see how he's going to do once the season starts. But as of right now, when he turned the tape on, he stands out and he makes a lot of plays. So uh, there's not a lot. There's not a lot we can say from that. But you know, sit here and wait. I'm excited for him, and we're ready to go. I know you had to go over to seven on seven, but did you see Devin Lloyd pop in on no. one? So they did, did bring. He win? So no, uh, he and Coy Cronk. It was a stalemate, I would say. Okay. But they did bring him over there, and you know, Devin. Yeah. Devin told me Thursday. Expect more pass rush out of him. Yeah. What, what can you share with us on that front, Josh? Expect more pass rush from out of him. You know, Devin's a heck of an athlete. Uh, he's a guy that you obviously see he's so super fast off the ball, but he also is a guy that can switch it up here and there. And I think once we have him on the line, it's going to give us another look. Instead of him being on the line and, oh, you know, he's dropping, he also has that potential to rush off the edge and, and really be successful as well. So um, Devin's done a hell of a job. He's done it before in the past. And I think he's just going to continue to grow from that. Trayvon's hands, pass rush moves this time last year versus today. How does it compare? This time last year, Trayvon's hands, yeah. his repertoire of pass rush moves to right now. How does it compare? I mean, just being committed to the rush. Uh, no matter what type of set he's giving you, be committed on what you're, especially your one-on-ones, just being committed to working your craft. If this is a move you want to work on, so be it. Be fully committed. And, uh, and, he, and when he is... He's undefeated, you know, but when he's thinking or, or he sees something different, he kind of reacts to it. But I think I think once he's committed and now we're starting to write it out, write our plans out, how are we going to attack today? And we're continuing to do that. I think each day he's progressing and he's getting better and better. So when we come play, you know, game one, he's going to be ready to dominate. Jordan is another one that, you know, could be a dark horse to really emerge yeah. from that group. What have you seen from him? Jordan's a guy that's that's eager to play. You know, he's like you say, he's coming back from that year-long injury, and then, pre, and then year before, he didn't get a lot of playing. Well, what was it he didn't get a lot of playing time. So, uh, you know, dealing with Jordan, he wants to he wants to he find those opportunities, and when he's out there, he goes ready to play. Uh, one thing with Jordan, gotta get gotta get that. You know, and he got it. And he got it mentally. Now he has to have everything else catch up to him. And once everything else catches up to him, man, he's gonna be he's gonna be a hell of a sight. For you, I know you enjoyed your time across the pond. You do every summer when you get to represent yep. the Jags and go over there. But you spent some time with Tony Baselli. Yep. He made some headlines before he jetted over there that he has predicted you and Trayvon to combine for more than, I believe, it was 23 sacks together. Yep. Did you guys talk about that at all while you guys were together in London? I mean, I'm going to break the re I mean, I'm gonna break the record. So I can see that happening. Yeah. I can see it happening. But, you know, we, we, we got what we need and we, we got what we want. But it's up to us to go out here. Not up to us, but it's up to the whole defense, the offense included. Now, you know, the offense, you know, we never really depend on the offense, but, you know, we know what type of talent we have on that side. That's going to put us in a way better situation, but we don't need to rely on them. So, you know, right now it's offense and defense, and then it's going to be front seven, 
you know, back four. So it's just like we all need to work together. And I think once we continue to grow as a team, then individually we can come as a whole. And once we be able to dominate up front, man, we can I – see, I see high numbers for the both of us, but also Kayvon, also Roy, also D. Ham. D. Ham's going to have a lot of opportunities to rush inside. I think D. Ham's going to be another guy. And when Smoot gets back, he's going to wreak havoc as always. I think Ty Lacey is another guy that can come off inside, outside, and really be de- really destructive. And then, um, and then uh, we also have Yasir, again, as a guy that can really, you know, once we need a third down, you know, one of us gets out the game, he's going to come in and there's no drop off because we know what type of rush he's going to get. We know what type of energy he's going to have. So I think as a whole this year, I think, you know, we're rushing together as one. I think we're communicating a lot better. And I think now we understand the front and the back end are married. They're not, they don't coincide, they're married. And we got to be joining. And I think the more we grow on that, the more we keep understanding that, the more comfortable that we get, that the front end is going to have our back and the back end is going to have our back. And we're just going to hire and win these games. Do you have any sort of extra motivation for that record? Do you have it, like, up in your bedroom or in your locker? Do you yeah, have the number? Yeah, you know, I keep it on me. I have my little briefcase or my little uh, iPad bag, and I keep a little note in there. You know, I wake up and brush my teeth. I stare at it. So it's just always on my mind. It's something that I've, you know, had on my mind for a very long time. And, you know, now it's it's here. I can do it, and I know I can achieve it. But I know Trayvon can achieve it as well. So we're also competing for that. And whoever gets it, the next person is going to have to beat it. So it's definitely high competitive, and I know that's what it's going to take to get there. And uh, we're ready to put the work in. One more for me. Your boy Smoot yeah. coming back. What did that mean to you to see him get re-signed? I was happy. You know, I talked to him. We worked out together. Like, we were training, obviously, we trained at Rise and Grind together with Jason. And uh, so every morning, I'm, hey, hey, bro, it's different, bro. We good, bro. Hey, we're going to have a lot more. We're going to go, bro. We're going to go, go, go. Like, you, me, we got him, we got him. Did you so. get worried at all, though, when the yeah, report uh, came out he was visiting other teams? Were you worried? Yeah, no, it's, it's a, at the end of the day, it's a business. Yeah. And at the end of the day, I'm not going to fault him for doing what's best for his family. Uh, I want to see Smoot be successful. I want him to be successful with my team. But in any situation, I would have been happy for him. Um, but getting that news that he was coming back, my dog. That is your dog. You're my dog. I appreciate yeah, you, Josh. Let's go with Rod.